Well, there are differences. That's why we set up this specific uh, company at this specific institute. Uh, you see, the, um, the fast-moving consumer goods has channels, has dynamics, has decision makers, has uh, benefits. Uh, although we have been building quite a lot of nutrition and wellness benefits, nutritional benefits in our portfolio, it is clear that uh, uh, what we are looking here is much deeper science-based uh, in the sense that we go really after uh, the science on the molecular base to see how nutrients interact with the human body specifically on uh, some uh, preventive or corrective or uh, uh, improving uh, dimensions towards uh, chronic personalized, uh, chronic or uh, acute uh, chronic diseases and build it in our nutritional solution. So this is a multidisciplinary platform that goes much uh, further than what we have been doing today. It is also an institute that is organized uh, about this whole new dimension of, of nutrition, uh, science, life science. So it is really multidisciplinary. It's not only anymore just nutrients per se, it is also linked with uh, new technologies and it has to combine these different disciplines into one platform. Can you tell us a bit more about the, the specific role of the institute in this? Well, the institute is going to be the platform that uh, goes about its own dimension of science uh, and yet at the same time interconnects with the different disciplines. That's why we have it here in EPFL, as we have here already quite a very vibrant life science uh, dimension. So it can tap into that, these dimensions, and uh, also additionally worldwide look into uh, all the disciplines that are uh, available and link them up into, into, into solutions that then it's going to be uh, eventually uh, commercialized through our uh, life science company. Speed was mentioned a few times today. How, how fast is the typical time to market? What's the, the pipeline and lag going to be between an idea and... and well, it is clear to say that it is clear that, that this is uh, much deeper scientific, and so uh, it's going to be, and that's why we organize specifically clinical trials and all that. So there's going to be a st time span that is different from the fast moving consumer goods. Uh, uh, although there we see more and more arguments coming in also for uh, deeper science, but uh, definitely that's why we have put that institute. We need these specific capabilities of mastering these timelines in a much more efficient and a much more focused way. So in that sense, I would say we have already products as we are bringing our Nestle uh, healthcare nutrition. So we have already a base of 1.6 billion uh, sort of Swiss franc turnover. And from there, that new science is going to be built into it and it's going to generate the pipeline over years uh, to come. So we are uh, spanning these things over years now. It's an exciting new business. What's your personal commitment to this? Well, my personal commitment is that I really believe that we have to organize with specific resources because it's a totally different dynamics. So I really believe that we have to split this from the huge business we have with its own dynamics because we have to keep focus on that. It has long legs, it has a long way to go, and yet at the same time this future crystallizing uh, opportunity is there so huge if you see how it compares with the healthcare a cost explosion, that opportunity is huge too. It is a business in the making, but we want to be pioneering there. So I am very thrilled and enthusiastic of being part of that. Thanks very much. Thank you.